It's the 19th of April 2021 and I'm currently at the Wenchi High Court. Today the court is not sitting, but we had the court direct the Electoral Commission, which is the second respondent in this particular case, to make available some documents crucial to the controversial declaration of results in the Techiman South 2020 parliamentary elections. It's an hour past the allocated time and still the Electoral Commission is not here at the premises of the courts to make these documents available. However, the General Secretary for the NDC, Johnson Esiudin Ketia, is present, as well as the petitioner, Dr. Christopher Beyereba Songti. There is also heavy security presence here. As you can see behind me, we have the petitioner bringing to the court his own photocopier machine as well as a standby generator in case the power goes off. The Electoral Commission reps finally arrived an hour and 12 minutes late to the scheduled time. Reinforcing the petitioner's suspicions, there was a power outage at 3.49 p.m. at the Wenchi High Court. But the inspection exercise was not marred in the face of these challenges as power was restored. So the court ordered them to comply within three working days. And today is the final of the three working days. So uh, that is why we were here. We came and waited um, till I believe 10 minutes to the expiry of the deadline, but they came. So they have come, they have produced some documents which uh, the issues we have with the documents have been raised. But uh, so that's it. There's just a simple process of EC producing originals of some documents for our inspection. The EC reps did not grant any interviews to the media. A representative of the first respondents, Martin J. Mensakosa, said they are convinced that the incumbents MP will come out victorious. The battle is the Lord. And we hope and believe that at the end of the day, one of our will still remain dead. MP for Techiman South and the progress of their constituency will continue. Inshallah. 